So in the year going ahead, what do you expect to see from the economy, from corporates, markets? Generally, why don't we talk about what investors should expect? First of all, Varun, it's a year of elections. So the most important and defining moment of 2024 is going to be the Lok Sabha results. See, part of it, I think, got uh, the uncertainty around those elections got uh, abated with the recent state election results mm -hmm. where BJP got a thumping majority in three states. Uh, so to that extent, that risk factor has certainly diminished, but it is not out. Mm -hmm. That's one part. There's in November 2024 is the US elections mm -hmm. and Donald Trump, can you imagine, is uh, might leading. Be back. Yeah, might be back. He's a leading candidate from the Republican side and that will have its own repercussions. Positive for India, I would say so. So uh, and there'll be other state elections also through the year. So it's going to be a lot of election uh, campaigning and a lot of... Uh, 2024, the year of politics. Yes, the politics. And typically, year of politics does do well uh, for the capital markets. And I expect the government to rev up its spending, complete long-drawn projects. So from an investor's perspective, look at capital goods stocks. Mm -hmm. Because uh, a lot of projects will get awarded and a lot of projects will get completed. So from that point of view, stocks like Las Antobro, ITD Cementation, um, Jay Kumar Infra, a lot of these companies will suddenly do, I mean, they're, they're doing well, but they may do much, much better. Yeah. And for and for viewers that want a much more deeper dive into that, we'll try and link a card so they can see the podcast that we've done on that subject. That's right. So that's one thing. Secondly, I think that uh, the year 2024 also uh, should see revival of uh, the large cap stocks. So in India, what has happened is that the mid cap stocks are given 40% type of returns, but the index is only up 16, I'd say only up 16.67%. .16 but Bajaj Finance, HDFC Bank, Kotak Bank, Reliance Industries haven't performed as well. They are like single digit returns. Mm -hmm. I expect that trend to reverse. So I want to ask a question about that because this is something we often speak about. So when domestic retail money comes into the market, it comes into mid caps, it comes into small caps, it also comes a little bit into large caps. But when foreign institutional money That's comes right. in, it comes primarily into large caps. So how does that, how does foreign money play into this trend of large caps, you know, lagging behind? See, what a lot of uh, FI money is coming in through ETFs or they are benchmarked to MSCI or some other index. And these large cap companies have, of course, because of their size, have the highest weightage over there. So minute you get money over there, it goes straight into these large cap stocks and they have to buy it almost instantaneously. So they make the price, the FIs make the price for their price makers for these large cap stocks and the volume with which they buy is what these what takes these stock prices higher. Yeah, uh, It's nothing compared to what retail investors can buy. And from a valuation perspective, you know, because these stocks are not performed as well, you can still ex uh, see them trading at a reasonable valuations. Mm -hmm. And underlying fundamentals are good. Corporate profits are strong. So when you look at the entire spectrum of the market and you want to invest in stocks which are reasonably valued, then these stocks certainly fit the criteria. So you expect in 2024, we're going to see the year of large cap revival. That's right. And I would like to add one more thing over there. That while 2023, we saw investor portfolios outperform the Nifty and Sensex, I don't think it's going to be that easy unless a portfolio has got a whole host of large cap nifty or index stocks. Mm -hmm. So we should be mindful of that fact that don't expect the same kind of portfolio returns, although the market will do pretty well and you may have a situation where you are underperforming the market, but that's fine. This is part and parcel of investing. Okay. So I guess just to summarize, the year of politics and the year of large caps, anything else that investors should keep in mind when thinking about the coming year? So I think the coming year also, uh, you may witness some of the sectors which have done badly to come around very strongly like bank nifty has not done as well and banking stocks of course he spoke of hdfc kotak they're part of the bank nifty so i think a lot of banks should start to do much better mm -hmm. uh, because economy is doing well so mm -hmm. credit growth is good mm -hmm. and npa cycle hasn't turned negative so that's one sector mm -hmm. i'm positive on large cap software companies mm -hmm. so what has happened is that these large cap software companies have got massive contracts and orders, multi-year, multi-million dollar. Mm -hmm. But execution is slow mm -hmm. because the Fortune 500 companies, the US corporations do not have the confidence. But with US economy stabilizing, I think a lot of technology spending will pick up. Mm -hmm. Discretionary spends will come back. 
So I think that large cap IT, the likes of TCS, Infosys, Wipro, which have underperformed, they will also come back into the reckoning. Mm -hmm. And and last but not the least is pharma. Pharma stocks have done well last two three quarters, but next year 2024 may be good for pharma companies as well. You know, it's interesting that you know banks, financial services, IT services, and pharma are. If you go back historically over 10, 15 years, they're like the bellwethers of the Indian economy. That's and right. in this last year, even though all three were in trouble, no, the economy was still doing well, the markets are still doing well. So in the next year, when all three start firing again, as you know, credit expansion accelerates, um, you know, IT outsourcing, you know, improves and grows rapidly and pharma also grows rapidly. I would think 20, I would hope 2024 will be better than 2023. This podcast is produced by Elixir Equities Private Limited, a semi registered research analyst. Registration number INA 00004787. The information provided in this podcast is for educational and informational purposes only and should not be considered as investment advice. Investment in securities markets are subject to market risk. We strongly advise all investors to read all related documents carefully before investing.